Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the second channel and inside of today's video We've got a special one because we're already at legendary 3 with Alana already You can see the progress and we're like 400 points away from masters on the second account We've just been chilling. I think we've literally lost probably like two games this entire bush It's been crazy so far and we're getting incredibly close free to play account as well That's what you love to see in terms of what my brothers are looking like as well on the free to play account I think on stream I got Hypercharged Leon, so I was able to upgrade him to Power 11, which is really good. People still don't ban out Leon, so that's perfect. So in terms of my Power 11s as well, they're actually extremely outdated. So I've done pretty well to get close to Masters. So let's try and um, at least get pretty close. But if we don't reach Masters in today's video, we'll be streaming it as well on Monday. So make sure to check that one out. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's jump into the first game then. So I think we've got Masters in the lobby. My guess would be on the enemy side of things, but out in the open... They have last picks, so probably want to ban... Flana can ban Miko, probably. Or Thrower. Let me try and find one as well. I think Jean... Or if I can ban Sprout. Sprout. Okay, perfect. Because... Oh, no, it's out in the open. I thought it was New Horizon. I'm so dumb. It doesn't matter. Anyways, we have first pick. We should have Leon right here easily. Oh, come on. I mean, Pearl's good, but Leon is just the carry pick. A lot of times, unless the other team are just brain dead. Yeah, look at that. Leon instantly picked. Bit of a rip there. That's not really the best. But at least Piper, Angelo, and Nani are banned. So they can't, of course, pick that. But out in the open, everyone knows how this goes. Just the same old shop shooters, really, with like Eve as an underrated pick. We've got Meg. I'm trying to think what else we can really go on here. Like, again, however, I've, I've got like no options because. The power difference between power 11 and power 10 is crazy. So they went with Eve as well. It's kind of sketchy with this one. So yeah, Meg could be pretty good. Just trying to have a look. What else? I think I might go Jean. Yeah, there's only like Meg or I can think of or Bell or someone like that. I'm going to... Might, I might go Gus. That's my thinking. Or Brock. I think Brock's probably... The safer option, but we do have Pearl for the wall break already. I kind of want to go a bit off meta with Gus, but I think Brock's safe. I haven't, they haven't got a sniper that can like one shot me easily. They've got Charlie. Okay, I'm good into Charlie, but the thing is, Charlie counters both of our teammates. That's painful. Why haven't I got Charlie up yet? I, I think I'm definitely going to upgrade her pretty soon because she's still not receiving any nerfs and she's a top four free brawl in the meta. This is what I'm saying. In yesterday's video on the main channel, I was talking about how Charlie's still underrated and ranked. Like, people just leave Charlie. She's like one of the best brawlers in the game. She has like no bad matchups. Right, we're against one Masters here, two Legendaries. It's not really the scariest thing ever, so I think we can get this. I know we're. I know I'm going to curse us here because I, we have literally been winning every single game. And then as soon as I press the record button, of course, that might start the jinx. Right. What I'm going to do here is pop a gadget to break open the grass and that little wall there so we can't just hide behind there. I've got to definitely try and stay on the Charlie as long as possible. If I can. Can I get the kill here? Beautiful. This is why I use more rockets. It's just a free kill all of the time. Now we've got the numbers advantage so we just need to stay together. Don't get caught out by this Leon and that is a perfect start. So I don't think anyone needs to really feed their super except for me. So I guess I'll try and get it as long as we don't feed this Leon his hypercharge, which we're not really. That's great. Right, good start. We've still got more gadgets to play with as well. We've got the wall break. We've got the wall break on their side of things. we just got to make sure that Leon isn't finding a kill. So I guess we've got to try and group up here. I think he has got super. So as long as we group together, Pearl and Meg have so much HP. So I'm the only vulnerable one. Right, Leon is over there. They're kind of pushing around. Of course, Leon's going to come from the middle. How isn't he dead? Oh, come on. Right, I'm going to break our grass here because I don't want Charlie to sneak in. Come on, I'm one shot away from Super. I might be able to catch these guys. Oh, why am I missing every single shot in the defining moment? Right, I'm going to get Charlie down. Now it's a 1v1. Okay, no pressure here, Spen. No pressure. It's just my fiance's masters on the line. But I'm telling you, there's more pressure on now than I feel like when I play with randoms. But that's okay. Can we get this, please? Eve, go away. I don't know why she's not healing. I, that is such a throw. In that situation, surely just back away, try and heal up. Uh, she even had a gadget to get away unless she's using the other gadget. 
We take that, all right? We take that. I'm kind of surprised because whenever I pick Brock recently, it's not really worked out too well. But I just think I have such a good matchup against Char Charlie. But it seems to be working out. Let's keep these matchups. You'd love to see it. There we go. We're impressing. Impressing the misses. We're good. We're good, guys. <laughs> we're in a good books for now. All right. Looks like we're, they're swatching, swapping matchups here. So... I want to make sure I'm getting this Charlie matchup as much as possible. I always stress no matter what. Try and fight your good matchups, right? You want to give yourself the best chance of winning. That's why Charlie is swapping lanes all of the time. She knows that I can take her down pretty quickly. Oh, she's going to go really weak here. I've got the super as well on that Leon. Please, one shot. Beautiful. There we go. And Lana got the kill on the Eve as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that is Charlie down. Wow, we're really flying through this. I'm surprised. I'm not saying Lana's terrible at all. I'm just saying, like, this is a better win rate than I get playing with, I don't know, playing with whoever. Like, I've never won so many games in a row. Maybe me and Lana need to form a pro trio here. Insane. Right. I don't know what Eve is doing. Do they just rage quit on their randoms or what? But Leon is in biz, so we don't want to get too optimistic here. At the same time, super to confirm the kill. Oh, one shot. Pearl gets the kill on Leon. That is almost too easy. Like... Can we actually get some close games here or what? Charlie's going to try her best, but she can't do anything about it. Wow. Let's see how much ELO we get. Hopefully, they weren't doing the bug where they just abuse ELO with some low people. And no, they weren't really. 112 ELO. Absolutely beautiful. So that's going to be the first game. We're already like, what, three, four games away from Masters? Let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the next game. And so again, we've got New Horizons. Lana should definitely ban Miko again. This time around, I know the map. I think I should be ban- Yeah, Grom is a good ban. Because they have last pick. Throwers are just so good on this map. Miko's good, or any kind of, I don't know, egg or some like, weird assassin pick. In terms of first pick then, I think, well, Piper's available, Nanny's available, Leon's available. I'm thinking, hmm. Thinking Leon? Yeah, Leon should be the best one. I think Leon's the best one, only because they surely can't pick Piper and Nanny in the same composition. So if they have brain cells, they probably will take Nanny. Because Nanny counters the Piper, that's normally how people work around here. But we'll see if they went with Colt, which already fulfills me with some confidence. Because Colt... I don't, I don't, why? What? They pick Mandy ahead of Piper and Nanny. That is... That is insane. So yeah, if I was him, I would probably pick Nanny instead of Piper. Okay, no, I was just about to suggest that. So I can't really pick Nanny. Uh, yeah, I can't really pick the Nanny here. Do I pick the Brock? Just in case they go like a thrower. I think that's what I might... I might need to go Brock again. I know I say that Brock is a little bit overrated, but he's good in a sense. Unless I can go... I don't know. I could probably go Larry and Laurie, right? I'll go Larry and Laurie. I don't know how they've not been drafted yet. I haven't got... A gear or anything like that. Maybe I can swap with Lana, actually. Yeah, beautiful. I completely forgot about that. How I've got Leon maxed out. There we go. How did I forget about Larry and Laurie? Like, this is literally is a thrower heaven map. And no one wanted to draft them. Right, I think we're pretty good here. So, in terms of the matchups. I know Lana's list to me. So that's why I'm kind of procrastinating it. So <laughs> I think Lana needs to go on the bell. Because Colt can open up the map. So, yeah. Well, I'll swap over with Lana. Piper's just going to have a good matchup against both of these. And Leon just has a great matchup into all three of them as well. I just need to... It might take me a while to get my super, but all is good. All right, Colt breaks open the lane already, which isn't the best. But Mandy has no idea that I'm coming. Can we stay alive? Beautiful. I mean, I don't know who got that kill there, but Colt is already dead. So that's just amazing for us. Oh, and I'm getting pinched quite heavily. And I'm going to go down. All right, 2v1. That was a bit of a bad play for myself, but, but, but we should be fine, right? We should be fine, unless this Mandy gets a double snipe again. Normally when Swan drafts a Nanny, uh, a Mandy like this, normally they're terrible, right? Because again, Piper and Nanny were open, and they just picked a Mandy. That's just crazy to me. All right, Piper, surely you got me right. <sighs> I was worried there. I thought, <laughs> I thought Piper was going to mess it up. All right. We're good, though. A gadget here gets instantly gadgeted by their Colt, which you hate to see. But I've got another gadget. All is good. All is good. I should be able to take down their Mandy. 
pop invis just in time to give us enough healing. And he's going to go down. Beautiful. We're in a 3v2. And knockout is all about the first skill. We can get the first skill. We're looking pretty good. I've got nothing to really shout about with my randoms. Normally, this <laughs> the videos on the second channel is me screaming at my randoms. But Lana's playing fantastic. My pipe is playing great so far. Everyone is playing great. Maybe it's me that just needs to pick it up a little bit. But we should be able to get this pinch off easily. Bell can't deal with all of us. And that's going to be the first round win. This is... This is concerning me. It really is how easy this is. Like, we're getting close to Masters. I thought at some point, we should be getting a bit of a fight back. Like, I know I've been memeing and trolling around saying Masters isn't all that. But, like, I feel like we're getting close to Masters. The game should be getting a lot harder right now. But let's see. It's all about this first engagement, though. Is Colt going to go down this lane? Yes, he is, unfortunately. Which is annoying. But Colt's kind of clever in that sense. But at the same time, why are you going Colt? Like, why are people going Colt? I don't know who's told him. Who's told Who's told him that Colt's good? He's only really good in heights. He's, like, underrated in some other areas. But there's no point really going Colt unless it's quick fire. The Piper is heating up. Both of these guys are one shot. Couldn't quite finish the kill there. But we should be able to get a pinch with Lana. Although... Come on, Piper, hit your shots. Nice from Lana. And that's Mandy Dan as well. We're about to whitewash two teams like this. I don't know. Where is the entertainment coming from? We need some throw plays. <laughs> we need someone to miss a bunch of shots. Right. We've got our inverse here. I don't think Mandy realizes either. Let me just sneak up on the Mandy. There we go. If Bell gets some range. We can just use our gadget to tank one shot as well. Right. We just need to both stay alive here. None of us needs to kind of get picked off, and we're good. Because it's 2v1 is extremely hard. All right, she'll get heating back up. Lana going pretty weak. Just got to cover for her while she heals up. Got to pop the gadget down here just to be a little bit annoying. And whilst Bell wastes some ammo there, we can definitely capitalize on that. And that's going to be Bell down as well. You love to see it. Two games, two wins on the second channel. We're probably going to finish this off on stream i would say just to give us a little bit of content but there we go we've got three games away from masters it couldn't really be any closer at this point in time you saw how big the struggle was on my literally on my stream for like over a week i was going forward tilting all the way down like this has just been too easy anyways that's gonna, <laughs> gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's see you guys next time